Creating a fully parametric herringbone floor in Railclone is quick and easy. Start with a simple box to represent a plank, and then draw a spline to define the floor area. Create a new Railclone object and open the style editor. Go to the Macros tab, then navigate to Generators Floors and select the herringbone floor macro. Select the box and the spline, then right click in the style editor and choose Import from Scene. Wire the spline to the spline input and the box to the segment input. The floor will generate immediately but you may notice a zigzagging pattern at the edges. To fix this, you just increase the expand parameter in the macro settings. Now let's assign a material so we can preview the texture on the planks. By default, the same texture is repeated on every plank. To introduce variety, enable auto extract tile textures. Then use the tiles U and tiles V parameters to zoom in on a portion of the texture map. Try setting both to 10 for a good result. This will randomize UV offsets in 10 step increments on each axis. For more variation, disable stepped mode to allow infinite randomization on each axis. This macro actually includes several other options. Z rotation easily changes the overall orientation of the floor. Padding adds gaps between planks. Random Z rotation introduces subtle height variations for an imperfect natural look and tilt randomly adjusts the angle of individual planks. Finally, double herringbone switches to an alternate double herringbone pattern. As you can see, this macro is fast to set up and it's very flexible. It even works with the free...